I got a box. I got a box. I got a box. I hadn't got a box in a while. Now this is from a friend Ryan up in Illinois. Uh, Ryan is one of my best buddies. Very good friend to the shops. Always sending me all kind of tooling and stuff like that. And let's see what he sent this time. I know what's in here, but I have not opened it. I got this last week. This is Monday. I actually got it Friday, I believe. And I have not had time to open it. I've been so busy. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Well package. Ryan always packs up stuff really nice. And some of y'all might see some of this packing material again at your house. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this. Turn this a little bit. Now there is noise from the air conditioner. There is noise from the fan. I know a lot of videos I watch. People are so concerned about all that. It, it don't bother me. But if I turn all this off just to make the video, as hot as it is, it will be unbearable in here. And that's why I have to leave my air on in here because it takes so long to get everything cooled down. All right, let's see what we got here. It's files, I know it's files. All right, six double X slim tapered file, triangle file. That is handy right there. Feels new, it feels really sharp. Absolutely can use that. The round file with a handle. Looks like a homemade handle. Very nice. Another triangle file. Got plenty of life left in it. And a round. Now this is a rasp. A round rasp instead of a file. Very nice. Another triangle file. A lot of life left in that one. Let's, see, let's do this one next. Said packaged very, very well. Almost like Christmas time. Can y'all see everything? That's a Nicholson made in the USA. Nice and sharp. That's the, I use a size like this all the time. Perfect. Looks like a nice homemade handle. And the one I have is slipped. So that will come in very handy. Another triangle file. Feels good. And there's two more. Feels good. That's a little bit smaller. Well, that one's been modified to fit something. It'll come in very handy. I can't see the brands on all these, but I'm sure most of these are USA made files. Good stuff. Large triangle file. Everything's sharp, feels sharp. Another round, narrow, very, very nice. This feels brand new. And these are all going in the toolbox.
My razor knife ain't sharp. I gotta get another blade to put in there. I think I got some. I can get to them. Another short. See that? That says. I don't know what it says. I ain't got my glasses. Even the post office couldn't mess this packaging up. <laughs> I like these homemade handles. Somebody took a lot of time doing that. Okay, another flat file. Feels good and sharp. Johnson file made in USA. This is a very old one here. Still plenty on there. And I appreciate this so much, Ryan. I can, everything I've got is just about dull. The smaller ones like this. I really appreciate that. So there's the box. Now I'll spend a few minutes putting them away in the toolbox. And I have a lot of things to do again today. Uh, see, I'm, this is the first clip on the video. I'm going to add a bunch of other clips. Now, last week, Big Brother Larry made the trip from Central Florida, came up here and spent a couple of days with me. It was actually three days. <coughs> Pardon me. Very good to see him. He helped me out in the yard uh, tremendously. As I mentioned before, my yard has got out of hand. A lot of overgrowth we got a lot of it done uh, still plenty more to do and I'll get to it as I can but this heat is just so bad on me and the main thing he came for is help me with the roof the shop roof especially out at the, the lean to out there we wound up getting that fixed I put a couple new rafters in in the back there I fastened down the metal better added some pieces in there got the had a humdinger of a thunderstorm yesterday and uh one little drip was all wound up after we got everything patched up and i'll patch that up uh, probably today sometime with just some caulking not no big deal but every my work area out back is dry now so that's what i was concerned about because there was a lot of water coming in not just a little bit a lot but over the boat's nice and dry again like it's supposed to be. And I'll take y'all out there in a few minutes and show you a little bit of what we've done. And I really, really appreciate him coming and helping me with that. He's a, what would you call it? A workaholic. <laughs> he worked me to death in my own yard. How about that? But uh, I finally had to just quit. And he kept going. So, uh, he done some grass cutting for me with the mower. The mower quit again. And mid-stride just quit. But finally got it going again and uh, I've got to order a part. I think the coil is bad. So uh, no big deal, less than 20 bucks. We'll, I'll replace that one day this week so I can keep on the cutting. I got a little bit of footage of him on camera, not much. He didn't want to be on camera a whole lot, which is okay. And that'll do it for now. Now, Saturday night, I had a fishing trip already planned before I knew Larry was coming. And he went home Saturday. And me and Brother Ken went. <coughs> Pardon me. We had a catfishing trip planned. Overnight catfishing trip. Because he heard me say everybody was scared to go at night. 
and he said he ain't scared, so we went. We took his boat, and I done okay. I missed the storms. So we stayed all night. We got back at 8 o'clock the next morning. Sunday morning, yesterday. Now you talk about a wore out puppy. I was wore out. Came home, iced down the fish, and I went in, got cleaned up, and I went to sleep. I didn't get up till yesterday afternoon. But uh, <laughs> anyway, slept good last night. I feel okay this morning. I'm still really tired. I pushed myself in between the yard and the fishing trip, almost to where I ain't supposed to go. But uh, anyway, everything's okay. Now, one of the clips I'll show. I'm just going to lay the fish out and show you what they were. Caught some nice catfish. Uh, caught a very nice red fish, which is already gone. He, Ken took that with him. He wanted that. Uh, three nice catfish, one fair catfish. And we caught an alligator snapping turtle that almost wouldn't fit on my workbench here. Gigantic. I haven't seen one that big in this river in a long, long time. Of course, you can't keep them here. We had to let him go. If you had wanted to keep him, I don't think we could have got him in the boat. That's how big it was. And then we caught a soft shell turtle, one of the biggest I've ever seen. The, you know, the big wash tubs, the big old wash tubs, it may have fit in there, it may not. And we were gonna keep that one, but we looked the regulation up right quick. That's where cell phones are handy. The season, they're closed until today, the 31st. So we couldn't keep it, we let it go. But we know where it lives. <laughs> and the reason you can't keep them until after the 31st is because they'll have eggs in them, you know, so uh, mating season. But I don't think I got any usable footage from that trip on the camera. I think Ken got some with his. He's got a new GoPro 10 that he was using. So uh, we'll wait to see his video and see what he comes up with. But I, th I got some clips at the boat ramp, putting the boat in, but that's about it. <coughs> Pardon me, I think. I'll have to go back over and look. Like I said, I've been just jammed, busy, bam. And I got a pile of knives. Some of them's almost done. It'll be done this week. And the other ones will be done hopefully next week and I just I have no lack of things to do I've got plenty to do so uh, let me shut up and get to do it uh, enjoy the next clips and I'll see y'all next time Look who's here. What are we doing there, big dog? <laughs> oh. Big brother Larry in the house. Line leading line. We interrupt the knife making. See big brother Larry's here. He came for a few days to help me try to get this yard under control and we'll fix the roof on the shop. There he is out there on the mower. He won't quit I'm trying to get him to take a break. Weed eating trimmed up around the building, around the shop. We're going towards the house next. There's the front side. Looks much, much better. And the roof is fixed. I just put the last piece of metal up there to patch the last hole. I think it'll stop it from leaking now. We'll just have to wait till it rains and see. And I ain't gonna climb back up there, but roof there. Face of board, we'll get that later. That ain't no biggie. You gotta put the rain gutter up around the front. I mean, probably not the boat. See if I can get him away with y'all. <laughs> Alright, we'll show you something else here in a little bit. Well, there is the catfish catch. Now these are sail cats, saltwater catfish that had got up in the river 
And I originally thought this was a channel cap, but that's a blue cap. And there's a little channel cap right there. Perfect fried hole size. Let's see, these big ones are. Check them out. 19 inches. About 19 inches a piece. Blue cat is 18 inches. Now, people are going to say and tell you, you cannot eat these. You cannot eat saltwater catfish. I've been eating them for more than 50 years. You have to clean them properly. So, we're going to dedicate a whole video. And I'm going to show you how to clean them. I may have done one before, but I'll show it again. And that'll be in a different video. But the blue cat and this one... That is supper tonight. And these will be two more suppers later on. We'll freeze those. Alright, let's take a little look. Uh, if I didn't already have it on another clip. Very, very, I can't say it enough. Special thanks to Big Brother Larry for coming and helping me with this stuff. Got all around the shop cleaned up. Very nice. Got the front done. Coated it down with bleach. Washed it off. Washed that green stuff off. It does need painting. And a little bit of repair here and there. But that'll have to wait till fall or winter. This end, the uh, water is beating on the building. And running right down by the boat there. So we put up the rain gutter. I've had that rain gutter for a couple of years, just never had a chance to put it up and learned it is a two-man job. So that's done. And most of the grass is cut. Up around the back porch is weed eated good. Over at the barbecue area, the weed eated weed eated a lot. The uh some of the firewood from out back is stacked up in there and we got a pretty good start on taking down the old playhouse shed there got the metal i was going to salvage off of it and the rest of it can be i'll just pick at it and burn it here and there got one pile of limbs to burn over there but it's too hot to burn anything right now it's too hot to even be out here doing this but uh, <laughs> Like I said, I pushed it to the limit. Felt pretty good this morning, but now it's time to go in and rest. So, there we go. I'll say it over and over. Thanks to Big Brother Larry for coming to help me. And I will see y'all next time.